trying hard to keep the balance of life. And I want to say to those of us who are much older, let us not write them off because it is, it is, it, what I heard last evening and convinced me that young people from the Seventh-day Adventist Church have a sense of purpose and a direction. I want to thank God for youth ministry because um, from years ago, um, ministering in St. Martin and seeking to mentor young people. Uh, when I heard Pastor Leto this morning, I walked away knowing that the church is in good hands. Amen. And, and I want to leave, say to the young people here this evening, you are living at the end of another youth day. And I say youth day because it's purpose driven, but you're living at the end of another global youth day. A few years ago, they told us you must go out and be the sermon. And this year, the focus was on adopting. Yeah. I got up early from 4 o'clock this morning and I scanned the, 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 the site as young people from around the world left the, the comfort of the churches and are in communities adopting senior citizens home, adopting communities, I saw young people adopting libraries around the world. It is evidence, ladies and gentlemen, that the Seventh day Adventist Church offers to our young people a sense of purpose. Oh, yeah. This last weekend, on Friday evening, Friday, uh, yesterday, the government of the Dutch <laughs> seemed to want to walk the way that the Adventist Church is walking. And they came up with a program that is similar to what we are doing. They call it the do it. do it. In the Dutch, they have one day in which all of the young people must volunteer and go in the communities and paint buildings and adopt places and try to make a difference. Now, here is the difference. They do it for a corruptible crime. We do it for an incorruptible crime. And as we meet here today, we have gone this morning to the homes of our city citizens, and we came this afternoon to give the care packages to the firefighters. And around the North Caribbean Conference, young people have adopted um, um, institutions so that they can remind them that we are not just people who consumed with being in a building. We want our communities to be different. Amen. And that's the focus of the church in the Inter-America Division this year. Making sure that our communities are different trying to be sure that while we preach to others, we must make a difference where we are. Yeah. And that's what the Bible Amen. says in Matthew 5, 14. Let your light so shine before men that they may do what? See your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So we leave and we end this global youth day. And I want to say two things to you, young people. I want to say, don't only be the sermon or be the church, be the light. Amen. Because you see, in this dark world in which we are living, the world needs a different touch. I, I watch with horror and dismay. And when we thought that it was only happening in America, it seems as though it's been exported around the world. I watch with dismay what took place in New Zealand this week. It's really unbelievable. And here is what makes it so really disturbing for me. It was well planned. It was well executed. The guy had it all mapped out. And, and what is amazing is that he had that camera strapped to his head. And he was lying as he walked into that mosque and just destroyed the lives of people. And he moved from one, exchanged guns, and walked into another and did the same thing. Lives so that the world can see. Young people, I want to say to you, if you do not have Jesus, it is so easy for the devil to give you an opportunity to glorify yourself when, on the other hand, you are actually not only destroying yourself, but you are destroying those who love you. I want to urge you today, be the light. Be a different voice in a dark world. Be a different influence in a world in which people seem to be going with the flow thinking that to be in it
it, you've got to be a part of it. I have learned in life that when you have God in your life, the devil will come with all snares and try to pull you down. But when you know God, he comes into your life just at the right time, as the song said, just when you need him most. So that's the first thing I want to say, be the light. And to those of us who are much older, be the support that young people want. Let me say to us, ladies and gentlemen, youth ministry cannot exist by itself. It takes those of us who are much older to mentor these young people into what God wants them to be. I've learned in life long ago, you cannot be an island all by yourself. I've learned a long time ago, to be a young person, you need someone who has a shoulder to lean on you. And everywhere, youth ministry has been successful. Your older folk has been by their side to give them the support that they need. Don't only cry them down, hold their hands. There are times you got to be on your knees with them. And as, as I say to my wife, oftentimes, I am learning now at the stage I am in my life, the kind of prayer that my mother used to pray for well, when I was much younger. Yeah. Now, that is not to say I was a terrible guy. <laughs> but you learn to understand that the challenges of this life cannot be handled by yourself. You learn to understand that some of the decisions these young people